So what is this statistical modeling? So what we see here, this is like uh, what you're going to do here is called basically predictive modeling. So we have seen, you know, what we can do when, when you know, when we have some data, we may need to do clustering to see how the data forms, you know, has uh, internally has affinity with each other, and there are natural clusters among the data. That's clustering. Then association we have seen. Statistical modeling is how. Uh, you know, when you have to predict or when you have to forecast a value, there are two ways to do it. One is your time series forecasting where you have historical values of your data which you use to get the next data. Sometimes you can uh, determine one value from other value. You know, the example here is that let's say if you have age, from age can you tell the height? So again we come back to our topic on correlation. If we know that there is a relationship between age and height, it may be possible for us to approximately estimate height from age. So when assuming that there is a linear relationship, yeah. So if we think that height and age are linear, we can sort of put a straight line equation and say that height is equal to some intercept. Like even when you are born and your age is zero, you have some age, some height, right? So at that, that would be your intercept. So some intercept, and it is not always true, you know. Sometimes, like if you are, uh, you if you are trying to uh, find a relationship between sales and quantity, like you know, then there would be no intercept, right? When the quantity is zero, it doesn't make sense that there will be any sale value. So, but in this case, there would be an intercept. So, in general, we would assume, I mean, as a general case, that when we put a straight line equation, there is an intercept, and then there is a slope. So, as age changes, for every one unit of change in age, there is some x unit of change in height, and that is what is denoted by b1 here. Okay. So, when age changes by one year, your height is supposed to be changed by b1 amount. And you understand why this is a very big approximation, right? Because it is probably not linear. And uh, after, so after B0 plus B1H, you have an error term. Because most definitely this will not fall in an exact straight line. Yeah? But if you plot the values height and age, there will be an approximate correlation. So a straight line is a good approximation but there will be errors. So the epsilon term after B1H is your error term. Now, when you fit this equation, you will see that some values are probably a little far from the straight line which you have created or the straight line is not a very good match. Yeah. So sometimes you have categorical variables. Yeah. Like for in this case sex which can assume two values, let's say 1 and 0. So what we mean is that, okay, height is increasing with age, there is an intercept. So beta 0 plus beta 1 age is fine. But let's say this is for females. When I plot this for females, then this is a better fit. Because males, even to the same age, they are taller, let us say. In which case, if, if this guy is a male or if this person is a male, I want to add some, there should be another additional height which I want to add. So then the sex variable can assume a value 1 or 0, 1 if this person is male and 0 if female. Okay. So what will happen when it is male, then your sex variable will be 1, so your height equation will look like B0, B0 plus B1H plus B2 only this, right? Because your sex is 1. And when your um, variable is, um, when the person is a female, then it will be B0 plus, uh, sorry, I didn't want mean B1. This would be B1H plus B2 if it is male. And it will be B1H if it is female because sex is 0. So basically, I'm adding a value B2. So the intercept for male is becoming B0 plus B2, right? And 
and which is again you will see why this is not a very good approximation because all it means is at any age there is a fixed height which is by which men are taller than women. This particular equation says that or men are born with B2 height more than women and that is not a very good approximation but that is that will be a better fit than what you had before and there then there are ways to uh, incorporate the fact that uh, you know as age increases yeah uh, there is uh, I mean uh, there is a um, so there is an interaction between age and the sex so I can include a variable that with age the slope also changes. So for example, if I just put it at B0 plus B1 age plus let's say B2 age into 6 plus B3 into 6. So this would, if this is actually B0 for male. For male this will become B0 plus B3 which is your intercept, right? Because sex becomes 1. Are you following me? Plus age into B1 plus B2. So even the rate at which the height changes, yeah, the which is the coefficient for age is B1 for females and it's B1 plus B3 for males. Yeah? So sometimes maybe this B it is not B3, sorry, B2. Yeah. So sometimes maybe the B3 part doesn't make sense. You can only model with age into sex. Or sometimes this B2 has no, is zero. So you can only model with B3. But which is a better fit? So this is where your skills as a modeler comes in. You know, first you look at the data. You look at the different um, relationships and plots among the data. look at the different relationships and plots among the data. Then you try to see what variables you want to include. There are different ways you can do that. And then you um, come up with the final equation which gives you the least um, error. So, there are a few terminologies which we need to be comfortable with. There are some unknown parameters. So this epsilon, which I'm talking about here, like um, the epsilon in the previous slide, this epsilon, age one plus epsilon. So this epsilon is unknown parameters. So if I knew some other variable, so let's say you know sex is an important variable, or say race is an important variable. So depending on your race, your height can be a fact. It can be affected. So this error term contains all these parameters which I don't know. Yeah? So it explains a big um, box of unknowns. It's not really error, you know. 